Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're going to do Fahrenheit and Celsius conversions. This is andymath.com and we'll do Fahrenheit and Celsius conversions. So here's the page for Fahrenheit and Celsius conversions. There's the notes to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit or to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And we'll do maybe one of each of these. So for number one, convert to Fahrenheit. So if we're going to convert to Fahrenheit, we're going to end up using this first formula, F equals nine fifths C plus 32. All we have to do is plug in four C and we're gonna plug in 10. So this is 10 for the C, F equals nine fifths times 10 plus 32. Now you can think of this 10 as a 10 over one. So it's like we're multiplying fractions and nine fifths times 10 over one, we can reduce the five and the 10 both by a factor of five. So now we have nine times two, which is 18, and one times one, which is one. So F is equal to 18, because all this changed into 18, plus 32, and that gives us 50. And we can check the answer. The answer is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's do number five. Now we're going to convert to Celsius. So we want to use the other formula, this Fahrenheit to Celsius. C equals 5 ninths F minus 32. So we'll plug in 86 for F. And then 86 minus 32 is 54. So now we have 54 times 5 ninths. You can think of the 54 as a 54 over 1. This 9 and this 54, 9 goes into both of these. So the 9 will change into a 1, and the 54 will change into a 6. So now we have 5 times 6, which is 30 over 1. So the answer is 30 degrees Celsius. And we can check it. 30 degrees Celsius. So if this makes sense, this is how to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Check out andymath.com if you're studying anything else. Uh, lots of material. Please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.